In this video, we'll be introducing you to some of the fundamental concepts behind percentage calculation. Even if you are already familiar with percentages, you may still learn a thing or two. Our objectives over the next few minutes or so are to show you how to convert between decimals and percentages, show you how to quickly calculate a percentage using the UCAT on-screen calculator. Let's get straight to it. What's the quickest way to calculate 36% of 450 using a calculator? The answer is that you should multiply 450 by 0.36, which gives 162. Notice that the calculation takes only a few button presses and gives you the correct answer in one step. But why? How do we get that 0.36? The answer is simple. To convert from a percentage to decimal, you divide by 100. 36% divided by 100 becomes 0 0.36. To find 36% of 450, we can simply multiply 450 by this decimal. 450 times 0.36 gives 162. And why did we drop the zero at the front? To save time. Why bother typing 0 0.36 when we can simply type 0.36 and get the same result? This shortcut will be demonstrated in much more depth in a later video. Now let's apply our percentage to decimal shortcut to a tricky graphical UCAT quant question. Question one's answer is B. The first trick in this question came in the writing beneath the graph. We know that company B has 33% of its 2020 annual sales in its second quarter. But what were its annual sales? The caption of the graph states, the annual sales of company B in 2020 were only 60% of the annual sales of company A, its main rival. Company A had sales of 250,000 for 2020. Therefore, we must first calculate 60% of 250,000. Do 250,000 times 0.6, and this equals 150,000. This is the annual sales of company B in 2020. Now for the second quarter, we must find 33% of this. Do 150,000 times 0.33, and that equals 49,500. For question two, the answer was C. We know the annual total for the company B is 150,000. To calculate the difference between sales in the first quarter and the fourth quarter, the quickest option is to do 48% minus 8%, which equals 40%, and calculate 40% of 150,000 by doing 150,000 times 0.4, which equals 60,000. Alternatively, if you missed that shortcut, you could have simply calculated 48% of 150,000, equals 72,000, calculated 8% of 150,000, 12,000, and then subtracted the two amounts, 72,000 minus 12,000 equals 60,000. We hope you now feel more comfortable with converting between percentages and decimals and doing quick and simple percentage calculations using that fiddly on-screen UCAT calculator. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.